Good morning children. It is good that you have de developed interest in statistics and you are keen to learn more and more of statistics. So, I welcome you once again to the class of statistics learning measures of dispersion. We have already completed two measures of dispersion that is range, quartile deviation and now we move to the third one that is mean deviation. What is mean deviation? Mean you know that is the average of a series and mean deviation is the deviation of average or you can say the deviation of the value of mean deviation from the average, how much far it is from the average that is called mean deviation. This is also known as average deviation. The meaning will be clear to you when we will go in detail. Now, earlier you have done quartile deviation, right? Now, quartile deviation is a measure of partition. In quartile deviation, you were dividing the series into four parts. So, that was a measure of partition that was giving you the partitional values. Whereas, mean deviation and standard deviation, these are the actual measures of dispersion. These are not the partition, right? So, these are considered as a better measure of dispersion. Mean deviation, mean of the absolute deviations of observations. What is mean deviation? It is the mean of absolute deviations of observation. That means, important points are mean of absolute deviations of observations. Now, it is the mean of absolute deviations of, of observations. I will tell you what is meant by absolute deviations. Now, here absolute value refers to the magnitude of a number. That means, what is the actual strength of a number or how much the, is the magnitude of a number that is clear from the absolute value. So, absolute value refers to the magnitude of a number. Magnitude is found by removing the negative signs, right. In the case of magnitude, we ignore plus and minus signs. So, magnitude of a value is found by removing the negative signs. So, absolute value of minus 10 will be 10. That means, you will ignore minus sign and absolute value of minus 10 will be 10. So, in the case of mean deviation, we are ignoring all the minus signs or you can say we ignore minus as well as plus signs take the values all as positive values and these positive values are known as absolute values. So, minus 10 is 10. So, absolute value it is also known as modulus of a number. Modulus is denoted by vertical bars that is as in this case 10 if you put two vertical bars here or any figure suppose it is 3, 2 vertical bars are there. This indicates that this is a modulus. Vertical bars here are known as modulus and when you put the modulus signs or 2 vertical bars, it is clear that you have ignored minus signs and you are taking the absolute values which is always positive, right. So, this is one of the main feature of mean deviation modulus of a number is taken it is denoted by vertical bars like this that is ignoring plus and minus signs. This is known as modulus of a number. Then difference between x minus average is called deviation x minus average and again the modulus sign. So, whenever x minus average we are taking x minus x bar this is shown with the help of two vertical bars on both sides which are known as modulus, right. Mean of absolute deviation is mean deviation or it is also known as 
mean absolute deviations. So, mean of absolute deviations, absolute values are taken and then the values are deducted by average and then we get the deviations and these deviations are known as mean deviation or another name is mean absolute deviation. Mean deviation because we are deviating from the mean, we are moving away from the mean. This value shows that how much it is far from mean. So, mean deviation and why mean absolute deviation, another name for it because absolute terms denote that you are taking the positive values ignoring minus signs. So, I think the meaning is clear to you. Now, we can define mean deviation as average distance of items in a series. This is the average distance of items in a series from their averages. Whatever is the average, actual average, mean, median, mode. So, whatever is the actual average, the distance from that particular average is known as mean deviation and mean feature is ignoring plus minus signs. So, all the values are absolute values. It can be computed by three averages either mean or median or mode. So, when we are taking the averages of the series then we can take any of these three averages either mean or median or mode. Okay. Now, we will see the calculation of it. First, we will find out what are the steps to calculate mean deviation. The steps should be clear in your mind so that you will follow the steps one by one and remember that follow the steps in the same order. Then only you will get the correct answer. That is why I have given you particular steps. Find first one is find either mean, median or mode. That is your choice. First step is you have to find out the average and this average can be either mean or median or mode that is up to you. But normally mean is considered the best average and if you take out the average either mean, median or mode there is little difference in the answer, but it is more or less the same and for accuracy sake or for you can say for better averages we consider mean. So, normally mean deviation is taken out from mean though it can be taken out from median also or mode in certain cases, but mean is considered better. So, first is find either mean, median or mode that is your choice. Second compute deviations of different items from if you have taken mean over here then from mean median if you have taken then median, if you have taken mode then from mode. So, you have to take out the deviations from the average what you have taken, this is the second step. Third is add up deviations ignoring plus minus signs, whatever deviations you have taken, these deviations you will name as D and you have to find out sigma D that is adding up all the deviations ignoring plus and minus signs. Fourth step is divide summation of deviations by n, n what is n? You know well it is number of items. So, divide it by n and denote it as d, right. So, divide summations of item that is n and denote it by d and apply the formula m d x bar this is x bar is mean m d x bar is equal to sigma x minus x bar upon n or sigma d x upon n right this x is x bar. So, sigma d x upon n or x minus x bar upon n x minus x bar is d x that means deviations from mean m d m this is mean deviation from median is equal to sigma x minus m upon n. Now, here again children you will notice one thing that modulus signs are always there. What does it indicate? 
it indicates that you are ignoring minus signs. So, here m d m is sigma x minus m modulus sign upon n or sigma modulus d m upon n. m d from mode is equal to as I told you earlier also mode is also known as z. So, m d z is equal to x minus sigma x minus z modulus upon n or sigma d z modulus again upon n. So, these are the formula and with the example I will tell you how to apply the formula and get the calculation done. Coefficient of mean deviation, coefficient this is relative measure from mean is sigma m d x bar upon x bar because this is you are taking from mean. So, you will take sigma m d x bar and divide it.